Hello there everyone, Lucamus Prime here and it's time for yet another LEGO DC Villain Strike to showcase and today it's going to be Arsenal. I keep ending up in the most unexpected places today. Hmm. So of course this is Roy Harper, our ally of Oliver Queen, the Green Arrow, and so he's in this game. And uh, yeah, I really love his new design, very different to Hyper in LEGO Arm 3, obviously because if you play like like Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, he was in that, but only in the DLC, based on how he appears in the Arrow TV show. So yeah, he's also going to be very different. Being as as well, he has a cap on, a, on backwards. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you watch Young Justice, you'll probably recognise his voice. It's uh, Crispin Freeman, who of course reprises his role from the show. And he's, he's a very underrated voice acting, he's done lots of really good roles. I mean, if you're an anime fan, he's voiced Alucard. And yet he's voiced many other characters, yeah, he's a good voice actor, you know, when you hear him. So, he's the first character on this roster who is a ball user, and he's of course got his red one. The ball users in this have uh, many new abilities, you know, compared to previous games. Um, similar to Hawkeye in, in the LEGO Marvel games, you know, particularly LEGO Marvel's Avengers and LEGO Marvel 2, their arrows can do different things, so like, they can destroy silver objects and I think gold objects too, and also glass objects, which is very useful. He also has a smart grenade, which is pretty cool. It doesn't blow up anything, but yeah, it's a smart grenade, I guess. Another attack. And you're probably wondering how do you unlock Arsenal, well it's pretty simple because you have to do a quest for him in Gotham where you've got to find other ball users and bring them to him. So that's pretty simple if you ask me. And if you're going to be asking about the Arrow TV show, I've only seen series 1 so far of it, I intend to binge watch the other several seasons afterwards. I have seen the crossover episodes where it crosses over with the other shows in like Crisis on Earth X and Dell's Worlds. I've not seen the, our episode of the Invasion crossover series though, yet anyway. I intend to though. So yeah, and... Royal Harper is in, in it a lot, and so yeah, I'll be hoping to see more of him soon, getting to see him take on this suit that he wears. So, uh, now that we've talked about Roy Harper's arsenal, let's have a reading of his character bio. So, um, yeah, I mentioned before that bolts can different different things, so yeah, there's the heat bolts, sonar bolts, and explosive bolts. He can also grapple with his bolts too, which is good. He's also an acrobat. He can have security access. Yep, project style rebound, yep. Camera mode, so. So yeah, there you go. That's cool. Where's Agent Smith, is he behind me? There he is. Uh, let's carry on reading. Oh, I've got to read uh, his like other aliases. So he's known as Roy Harper, Speedy, or Red Arrow, and he's affiliated with the Titans, Teen Titans, and the Justice League. Cool. So as well as what Beeble has just mentioned, he can use technology, cool, and twirl sockets. So let's read his profile. Originally known as Speedy, Roy Harper became a Green Arrow's teenage sidekick and most trusted ally in fighting crime. Later adopting the name Arsenal, Roy has been a member of the Teen Titans and is a skilled engineer with advanced archery training, thanks to his former mentor. And he first appeared in More Fun Comics issue 73, released in 1941, so this year it will celebrate its 78th anniversary. That's cool. So he's been around for a while, hasn't he, Roy Harper's Arsenal? And I know he's a pretty cool character, you know. And yeah, it is pretty obvious that he's appearing in Young Justice, you know, because he is a young character, isn't he, really? So yeah, that's understandable. 
So I intend to be in Dutch Young Justice one day and also with Teen Titans show as well because believe it or not guys, I've not actually seen much of Teen Titans, I've only seen bits of it and it is a good cartoon. So yeah, this is me showing you Arsenal in Lego D Super Villains, so be sure to give this video a like and also let me know in the comments uh, what you think of Arsenal in this game if you've played it. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you all later.